that 2K lab, man. Y'all already know what time it is, man. It all started with a whole bunch of tweets from from just everybody tweeting, man. I'm talking about them boys is tweeting. I said them boys is tweeting. Hey, lots of tweets to get through today, man. All that stuff. Mike's tweeting. Uh, J.A.'s tweeting. Your boy Zach Timmerman's tweeting that. We're going to talk about all this stuff right now, man. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video and comment y'all thoughts down below. Y'all know we're trying to get this thing to that 100K, oh so coveted 100K. And without further ado, man, y'all know what we like to do. Let's get this video underway. So check this out, man. Hey, listen, we were talking about the badges on yesterday, and a lot of people had some questions. Like I said, it has been confirmed that you can now, nah, like, like when I said you could conceivably get all 77 badges, bro, I don't mean literally all 77 badges. I'm thinking more like you can get anything that you qualify for, you are going to be able to get those. And Zach Timmerman, he definitely confirmed that because he said this right here. Here we go. Kale asked, hey, can you ask uh, Hoops Life what's the limit on how many badges you can get, uh, you can put in each category? I don't know if it's been announced or spoken on and he says remove 23 from your mind categories are gone what attributes you qualify for you can go get and so that's what he's telling us man he's saying like whatever you qualify for and so there are some obviously you can't get this the you know like a, you can't get back down punisher I don't think you can make a bill that could do that. But what I'm saying is, if you could conceivably make a bill that could get all 77 badges, you could get all 77 badges. We know you can't make a bill that's like that, but I'm saying stuff like that for for example and stuff like that, man. So if you can get a ton of badges, like, like a lot of people like, man, you know, they be like, I can get 100 badges or you can get all these badges and stuff like that. That's fine. Yes, you will get them. Yes, they will be bronze immediately. He did say that. He said, listen, you're going to have all the badges. They will be bronze immediately. Every badge that you qualify for will be immediately bronze. After that, it's up to you to choose what you can do because you got to get the badges to fire off in order to get them going up, man. But hey, we're going to talk. Like I said, we're going to talk more about that, man. Hey, Mike was talking about one of the badges, the whistle badge. Somebody says, hey, hey, Mike, um, with, the, with things like whistle, the whistle badge being added, does that determine the rate of foul calls in the wreck? Um, is it rec is is it recommended thoughts or files? Again, you're going to have these badges right from the beginning. But he says whistle increases both frequency of shooting files and uh, being called and also improves the ability to finish and ones. It sounds scary, but shooting file frequency is generally pretty low and uh, and properly and probably most useful in my career and all those games. Man, we're going to turn this dark, bro, because my eyes suck right now. But yo, it is what it is. So Mike right there, he's just telling us telling us right off the bat, you know, how, how that goes. Also, he came back and said, listen, Somebody was asking, hey, Baluba, do you have to score a ton to have high teammate grade this year? And Mike said, nope, you can probably get an A or close without scoring at all. And then, hey, listen, uh, <laughs> what's the name? He said, this is one say, that's an L. L. That's an L. Reward good players who play naturally and win. Uh, uh, oh, that's an L. Reward good players, man. Playing a teammate great, playing for a teammate great, um, makes people play unnaturally and go back and, and you know go back listen man I don't, I don't know i mean if you plan and if you plan to get a good teammate great i feel like you plan to win or the games you feel like you plan to win we don't know what the criteria are as far as getting those but hey it is what it is that's just what mike's talking about also somebody was talking about the layup meter he says layup meter off boost the green window size also we're talking about like you know they're, they're asking hey what do you feel like it's one of those things like like uh should we have very should it be difficult to to make layups and stuff like that if you're wide open i'm like bro if he's wide open he make the layup i just anonymous said this yesterday i feel like if you're wide open and you go for a layup you should almost not even be able to miss that joint it shouldn't be like 2k21 uh uh current gen or whatever if you're going in there i mean next gen if you're going in there wide open shooting the layup nobody cares if you make it now if you wanted to get funky on them boys and try to time a dunk and go in there and do some crazy stuff yeah if you miss it you should get penalized it is what it is that boy wolf is tweeting wolf is on the list right now boy that man said right stick ripper when in a defensive stance flicks flick the right stick toward the ball higher chance of uh of the steal if the right stick flick is correct. And it just says, for all the defenders out there, if you want to separate yourself from the rest, utilize this badge. I love this one. And I love it too, man, because you're gonna, it's, like I said, we're just putting some IQ in the game, man. This game is look like it looks like it's going away from 
just the casual fest that a lot of people keep saying it is uh, and all of that good stuff like if you're a casual person that plays and you don't really care and you're not using a whole lot of iq and you want to keep just pressing the button pressing the button pressing the button and hoping you get something you might will get a steal but you're not going to get as many as i will if i'm flicking the stick toward the right thing so yo that's dope man hey look uh zach timmerman once again says uh as so, uh so somebody says yes in the courtside report posted the builder and the badges imagines uh image the image shows clamps are uh, requiring multiple gates for for it to be unlocked and so uh in nba 2k24 the builder there are many badges that will that will have uh two to three uh, two to three and gates meaning that multiple thresholds well whatever man he just says as some have noted many badges have just have just physical gates and some have both physical and skill attribute gates it uh it's one of my favorite things about removing the structure of the old four badge categories gives us more flexibility we did we did keep category colors as you could probably tell though and so more or less what he's saying is man like there are multiple gates so it's not gonna be just 99 steel as far as maybe let's say let's say something like duncan or something like that there can be multiple gates and so you can and you can and it's just like this game right now with 23 you can qualify for some of them and sometimes you have to you have to get your uh get the build all the way up there before you can qualify for the next one so you can have 99 steel but if you ain't turning your steel up yet you're not gonna have the hall of fame um pickpocket or what have you and so i think i think having the multiple gates allowing you to have all of the badges that you qualify for at the same time i think that's a dope feature to have in the game man and uh like you said hey someone asked this one who is this uh they says zach says curious thoughts curious thoughts what should matter more for badge progression uh we'll start with the wreck and so some people say teammate grade some people say wins and losses and he said currently in the wreck a team a, a, a plus teammate grade can give you a 25 percent boost anything lower than a d gives you a, a 35 percent hit uh wins wins will give you a 10 percent boost losses a five percent hit yeah and, and, and i can understand that man so yeah you would want to say teammate grade more because like some people don't play with anybody they play with randoms they can't control that winning but you can control your teammate grades you can't be a good teammate you can't come out come out there and play and be you know do all the things and convince the game that you did everything that you wanted to to win that you could in your power to win you can't always control that win so like for me i'm not even gonna be selfish i know that i play with a team all the time in the wreck i'm gonna win way more games than i'm going to lose but i understand that there are people out there that don't play with with um with teams and so teammate grade is is more popular is better also maybe this will stop people from doing just dumb shit in the wreck where they stand out of bounds and all of that stuff where they just keep going out and uh and then their teammate grade sinks and all of that but none of it will matter if you can quit out of games and like they do in the wreck they just quit out of games and then it's not gonna matter anyway so quitting should also give them a hit if it's a quit it's a it should qualify as a l and that shouldn't be a way where you know they just quit app and all of that good stuff and then it just doesn't never matter Wh whatever because some people know how to quit every game in the wreck and it never never punishes them then but meanwhile if i quit one game in the wreck i got a 15 minute ban i don't get it but hey it is what <laughs> it is what it is man um you know like you said man it is what it is hey, hey another one man here we go um one person said this is an underrated guy he says i don't understand since badge since badge points and cores are gone does this mean that does this mean that there are no longer things like tier three badges being uh being gate kept until we've progressed in you know what I'm saying it's until you get a certain number of points or whatever he said the only gates that your only gates are your attributes and your size any badges you qualify for given that uh given that you have the potential to earn so as long as you can get the badge again as long as you can get it you're gonna be good to go also he says a hey, high teammate grades are harder in park and uh and things and this has been accounted for in the in the badge progression system uh you know a b plus a b minus is actually a solid average grade a b minus is a solid average is a solid average grade in these games and an a plus actually gives you a 20 percent boost and a win a 15 percent boost a loss uh a loss 10 percent hit or what have you so hey it is what it is man like it's gonna be tough man like I'm, I'm telling you i know a lot of people are not gonna like the badge fluctuation and stuff like that but hey you're gonna have to like i'm gonna be honest with y'all man because i'm really tired of the <laughs> i ain't got nobody
nobody to play with. I'm out here playing by myself, man. I only play with friends. Shut the f up. Shut the f up. Hey, listen, man. At some point, if the only people that you have to play with is you, then everybody ain't ass, bro. Your ass. And, and I understand that we got some of the, some of my guys that are late night, uh, pro and we excluding y'all late night players or you know people that play in the middle of the day. Some guys work in the middle of the day and they work at night, and so the only time to play is when not a lot of people are on. It is going to be unfortunate for them. It sucks, but I'm sure you can find somebody to play with at those times because the people that you're playing against at those times, eventually somebody's gonna pick you up and y'all gonna have to squad up and get it together. But with wins and losses actually meaning something, people going to have to, like, we're gonna have to make adjustments, man. It is unfortunate. I understand because not everybody has people to play with, but somehow you're gonna have to, I mean, at some point, man, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go get online. You're gonna have to go to the, uh, to the Jay Easy Discord, to the Rack Nation Discord, and you can find people in there. The link for that is down in the description. All you gotta do, come over here, Rack Nation Discord, bow, come in. We got we got all the stuff. We got wreck lobbies. We got where you can team up. We got looking for people, you know, looking for guards, looking for this, looking for that. We're gonna finish all of this stuff up, and you can hop into Discords and all of that so you can be safe in the chat. All of that good stuff, man. So look, like, look, anybody looking for park? Look, listen, that man looking for park. He's looking for somebody in the park. So it's no excuse to be playing by yourself right there. If you can't find somebody to play with, join the Discord. I promise you, we're gonna take care of you uh, with this. Somebody asked about speed with ball. Mike says, similar to 23 speed with ball controls things like raw movement speed while running and sprinting. Acceleration controls how fast you can explode off, off your first step. I think that's cool. I think it was about the same thing, man. A lot of people knew that was the same same uh last year and it just uh it just was what it was man we got two more things for y'all before we get up out of here man spot finder this is a badge that i wanted to know about because i wanted to know a new off ball badge which utilizes which utilizes the get open mechanic to use the get open mechanic uh tap the right trigger or the right you know r2 or the right trigger when you're when you're ready to cut this will give you a small speed boost and increase this increase the chances of uh the shot going in after a successful catch be mindful when using the get over mechanic but be mindful when using the get over mechanic because it will cost you an adrenaline boost a lot of people not gonna like that because we're going back to where we were last year like like this is tapping it though you can hold it and it's not gonna take it but if you tap it it's gonna take it and then it says it's a it's a versa it is versatile and can be used in so many different situations corners wings centers roll into the basket and sharpshooters moving around the three-point line to utilize the get over mechanic uh get open mechanic excited for y'all to try this and then he came back and doubled down and says for clarification for clarity you only lose an adrenaline bar when you perform a get open move that means tapping the right you know the right uh the right trigger sprinting around should uh, spinning around will while holding the r2 will not cost you an adrenaline bar so just like i said man a lot of people think that you know they was thinking about that all that running around and stuff though man i, I really wish that they would have stuck to that because i want you to be able to come get the ball or whatever but you know all this stuff where people just running around and just uh, just messing up the offense and stuff bro it's so tough to do that bro it, it's crazy but hey it is what it is. We're going to keep playing the game. We're going to understand it. I just don't want people to give up on the system before we even try. Let's see what it is, see what the flaws are and all of that. And last but not least, Matt Zach Timmerman says this. Spent some good time trying to be as descriptive as possible for the archetype names in, in this uh, this year. More effort will, more effort went into calling out, uh, calling out even serviceable shooters. That said, my new favorite arch archetype is three-shot hunter, three-point shot hunter no hiding now hey i feel you on that man because people come out there with with the it say you slashing and you be like brute with this with the catfish bill it says slasher it like said raw slasher or something like that this dude was shooting threes people like man what's going on catfish bill baby but you know we'll see how that goes man but y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section also if you got time man and y'all are looking for some custom shirts and stuff like that man slide on over to breeze tees Get your tees in the breeze when you're rocking with breeze tees, man. Slide over to the site. Like I said, we got a lot of these shirts. I even got the Colorado shirt on. You know, I just put, I just made this today. But uh, you can make your own custom stuff. All that stuff, man. Get something for your girl. Get something for you know, make your own your own custom shirt with this. You know, put that you can put that young blessed up there. Anything you want on these, man. Uh, hats, all that stuff, man. Just take your image. Take your image. 
choose your image, put uh, what if you're a Steelers fan or something like that, bow, boom, and you're done. And we'll take care of it for you, man. But let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time, please like the video, man. If y'all don't like the video, it doesn't go anywhere. If you literally watching the video and not liking it, it it's you might as well not even watch the video, right? Really, I'm, I'm telling you, that's how that's how YouTube is working right now. Please hit the like button, and I'm holler at y'all next time. Till next time, peace. Guys,